can this happen? Excessive salt intake increases the risk of developing hypertension and if it is uncontrolled, can lead to cardiovascular diseases, stroke and renal failure. According to the Malaysian Community Salt Survey, year 2019, Malaysians consume an average of 7.9 gram, which is equivalent to 1.6 teaspoon of salt or 3,167 milligram of sodium per day. The World Health Organization Non-Communicable Diseases NCD Global Monitoring Framework has listed reduction in salt or sodium intake as one of the nine global NCD targets to be attained by the year 2025. This can potentially save 1.6 million lives each year. The Salt Reduction Strategy to Prevent and Control NCD for Malaysia year 2021 to year 2025 was published as a continuation of the previous document published for the year 2015 to year 2020. The targets are an average of 6 gram salt intake per day in adult population by the year 2025. 25% relative reduction of prevalence from the year 2010 baseline in terms of risk of premature mortality due to hypertension, cardiovascular diseases and stroke. This policy document outlines three main strategies, namely M for monitoring, A for awareness and P for product strategy. All strategies and activities that will create a supportive environment for behaviour change in Malaysians that will lead to a healthier lifestyle. M or monitoring strategy includes survey on salt intake among population using 24-hour urinary sodium analysis or validated spot urine together with food consumption survey, survey on product and food analysis on salt content in food products, survey on health literacy related to salt intake among Malaysians, survey on barriers and enablers towards salt reduction, and lastly, strengthen the database of salt or sodium content in the Malaysian Food Composition Database, MyFCD. A or Awareness Strategy Increase awareness and health literacy through health promotion activities and develop a strategic communication plan to improve health promotional activities relating to reducing salt intake. P or product strategy includes enforcement of mandatory labelling of sodium content on January 2024 as gazetted on 21st of July year 2020. Education and collaboration with the food industries on product reformulation. And lastly, while voluntary reformulation is ongoing, efforts to propose mandatory salt targets for specific processed food needs to be intensified. One of the ongoing projects is establishing salt reduction targets and reformulation of local food products as part of the salt reduction strategy in Malaysia called the Resolve Project. This study aims to determine a specific target reformulation of the products and develop appropriate toolkits with active engagement between researchers, policymakers and local food industries. Involving various agencies includes the Ministry of Health Malaysia, National University of Malaysia UKM, University Putra Malaysia UPM, Malaysian Agricultural Research and Development Institute MARDI, Queen Mary University of London, and World Action on Salt, Sugar and Health. Among the food industries that have been involved in this project are integrated approach is essential for effective implementation of the plan. Let's do our part to make Malaysians healthier.